I'm alive. I'm alive. Right, is this on through? Yes, it is through my webcam. No, yes, it's through that one. Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. If anybody is here, let me know in the comments. Give this little video a thumbs up just so I know what is going on and who is here because this is the second live. Haha, -ha, people are joining. Yay. Hello. Brilliant. Okay, so what I'm going to do is for people who aren't on, don't know what's going on, is just before Christmas, I asked loads. I was feeling a bit like stagnant with my the makeup that I was creating. And I asked people to, uh, I took a screenshot of my eyes done before by loads of people, but I asked people to kind of doodle a design on. And I did a, I did a couple and then I kind of forgot about them because I was at work and things like that. And then I found them on my phone uh, the other day. And I thought, I'm going to do a live and I'm going to recreate two of the looks on my phone. So I, for people who do have social media, I got them to vote for their two favourite ones. Oh, the honeycomb one did win, but I'm, I'm going to do that one separately because I think I need to have uh, time to do that in on my own. So what I'm going to do is the next trickiest one, which was like the 90s jazzy kind of art pop art style. I keep saying pop art, but the 90s kind of print, Saved by the Bell. Hello. Uh, hello, all the people who are joining. So I'm going to do that one. And then I'm going to do another one, which was the, I'm going to get the picture up. So I'm going to quickly show you what it was. So this is the one I'm doing here, that one. And that's the kind of 90s pop art one that my best friend Karen drew. And then I'm going to do as well, just for a bit of fun and a bit of color, I'm quite drawn. I do feel like a bit of a cop out, <laughs> not doing the honeycomb one, but I just it's just gonna be a hot mess if I do both of these on camera. So this is the honeycomb one that people want to do. I'm going to do that, like I say, in my own time, because I feel like I'm going to mess this up and then get really frustrated. So I'm going to do the the next the next complicated one, which is the 90s one, and then I'm going to do the, the, I think I'm going to do this one. So sorry, the button was a bit rigged. But now I know which one the next one's going to be, which is going to be the honeycomb one. In my own time, I do feel a bit bad not doing the honeycomb one. Should I do it? Should I do it? Right, well, anyway, when we do it, I'm going to prime my skin anyway with some KVD. Lock it. Just get that primed, ready to go. How's everyone today? Is it cool where you are? Is it mild? Is it snowing? I never, uh, all the snow's melted up here. Right, let that soak in. All done. So yes. Oh, now I feel bad that I'm not doing the honeycomb. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Is I'll give the honeycomb one a go, and if it's wrong, it's wrong. Okay, yeah, I'll do the honeycomb one. I feel mean not doing it. Right. Just clip my eyebrows as well. I'm gonna clip my hair out of the way. And if you've got any questions about anything, just let me know. And then we'll just have a little chit chat whilst I'm doing it. I think I'm gonna do. The 90s one first, because I think that one's going to be the easier one for me to do. Which obviously there's a lot of line work, but I did find these nail art brushes that I've had for donkeys. Uh, and I've never actually used, so I thought these were quite good for fine lining. So I just need to change the settings on my phone so I can see this for longer display. Oh, <laughs> oh I, you know what it is? It, it's a bit milder up here. I think it's about seven degrees. I do miss the ice and the, well, not the ice, I miss the snow. Right, there we go. Got that on for 30 minutes. So, the way that Karen's drawn it yellow lid, black eyeliner with the grid and the zigzags. So, I think I'm going to do the, the zig, like the, the grid last. Well, I don't know about barbecue weather. Might be a little bit too nippy for that. But I suppose if you've got a gas barbecue, it might be all right. Right. Eyebrows. I'm going to, I think, I'm going to soap brow them. 
should I use some pear soap or should I use the pink honey brow soap stuff? Is it okay quality this this webcam? Because it looks a little bit blurry here and I can't I can't tell if it's just my phone or if it's the connection. Anyway, so I've got a spoolie. I'm just gonna what if you can just let me know pear soap or honey glue. I'm gonna give you oh it smells so good. A couple of seconds to decide. So I do feel like I'm leaning more to this one, which is the pink honey. I might do the pear soap on the uh it's, well a lot of people in newcastle will walk around with their shorts on all the time it, and it's like the geordie uh geordie way like normally obviously when covid's not a thing all the lasses out town like short dresses no tights no jackets that's the geordie way right i'm gonna glue my browns down so then i have like a flatter surface 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 to work with so the reason I'm using this one here, which is the Pink Honey Cola Cubes Tint. And this has got a bit of um, brown colour in it, so it will give my brows a little bit of colour, nothing too crazy. And when I, I'm, I'm still getting the hang of soap brows, but what I like to do is I like to um, go the wrong way first to coat the underside of the brows. And then I like to go the other way. And then bring it up like that and then you can just smooth it down like that and then i just i do look from the sides to see if there's any like lifting and to be honest that is so much easier than using glue like elmer's glue that done and i think i'll do the same on the other side ready to go as well and then that has a chance to dry down so yeah i've heard pairs I, well, what i do is i'll do pairs on the other side i'll do pairs on the other side and then we can see which is better uh, pears or pink honey I, i'm actually really quite enjoying the pink honey it is quite, oh my god, I'm just destroying everything. It is expensive than pears. The pears still cost me about 97 pence from savers or super drugs, something like that. And then obviously the pink honey costs about like eight pounds and you've got delivery and stuff. But you are supporting like a smaller business. Oh my god, make a bacon sandwich for me, please. I love a bacon sandwich. So I'm just taking the soap. And I'm just rubbing it in there and getting it really, really, getting those bristles coated up. I don't know how well you can see. So I did find with this, when I used the pears, they, it was wet. Whereas I find with the pink honey, it gets quite sticky. Well, anyway, we'll give it a go. Again, love that kind of purple smell. Hello, Fluella. Hi. But we'll, we'll see. Right, so again, through the wrong way. Get them all coated through the wrong way, back the way they came, and then brush up and then stick. And you know, it's pretty. I mean, obviously, that's not the soap's intended purpose. Let's have a look. Just having a look through. I mean, it's it's there's more baby hair sticking through on the pear side. But hey ho, here's all these new people trying. If you can see this video, give it a thumbs up. No, I know. Give it a thumbs up. Right, there's that brush all done. I'm going to end up, I think, with quite a colourful laptop. So for those who are just joined in, the winning. Uh, both were Karen's Design, which is the 90s graphic print, like a bit like Saved by the Bell, and the Honeycomb one. And I was a bit like, oh, I'm not going to do the Honeycomb one, but I thought it was a bit unfair, so I am going to do it. 
I am going to do it. I'm going to be brave. And I'm going to do it. So what I thought I would do is, if you see my concealer collection video, I did say that I wanted to use up some more of my concealers. So as a base, I'm going to use the KVD uh, Vegan Beauty Concealer, and I'm going to use that as a primer for my lid. And so the lid for this, 90s design is yellow with a black wing liner and then you've got different colored uh, jazzy patterns and then you've got a grid and i'm going to do the grid last yeah so this concealer like i said in the video is very thick it's very opaque which is good but because it's quite thick it can be hard to work with Right, and I'm going to use, I really like crown brushes, they're a bit like, well, they're, they're pretty much the same as Morphe brushes, I think they were actually there before Morphe, they're just, uh, I think a private labeling company, but good quality, and you can get some good little sets, and this is a double sided concealer slash flat brush, got a couple of these and I really like it. So, you know, 2020 aims, if anybody's got any resolutions, is just to use up some of my really old makeup. I'm kind of going through all my makeup drawers and I'm showing you guys what I've got in it. And I want to do like shop my stash style videos where I give some of my older makeup some love before eventually it gets retired to the recycling graveyard. Look at this. I'm going to get somebody here. Yay, little people. Hello, new people. If you are just joining in, drop a comment, leave a little thumbs up, a little like on this video just so I can see that you are here. Anyway, I'm just going to bring this all the way down here just in case. Because she actually hasn't got any yellow under here. She's just got it left it blank. She's kind of put a bit of yellow under here. I think I'll probably bring the yellow all the way around. As like maybe like a circle, like a yeah, because she's got like a harsh circle. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll set the rest as as white, maybe. I have a white. Ooh, should I have a white background? Maybe I'll have a white background. I'll do. I think should I just should I do like yeah? I'm gonna do budget. I'll do white all the way over here i don't have any special white foundation or anything like that but i'll have the background as white and that'll make all the other colors pop oh this is a this is a look and a half there we go let's just hope that this concealer doesn't break down the pink honey yes does anybody have any new year's resolutions does anybody believe in new year's resolutions i've done them before in the past and i find that i end up not breaking them but maybe not finishing them to the fullest or maybe yeah maybe breaking them a little bit and then just being really disappointed in myself that i haven't i haven't done that so anyway i've got a brand new dampened uh, Real Technique sponges. I really like these. I'm just gonna blend that out. Blend, 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 blend. Please don't break down any of that glue. I say glue, soap. And then I think that'll be a nice uh, canvas. This is definitely a one-sided shot. <laughs> Now, I've got a few palettes to play with today. I've got the Sugar Pill Pro Palette. This is, um, if you see my eyeshadow collection video, this is my old, one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes. It's from 2012. Do not recommend keeping your makeup that long. Ooh, exciting. Jenny, oh, wanted to ask those recycling bins you mentioned in your vids, Maybelline doing boots, do they do other brands? Or just, no, you can put all makeup in there. All makeup brands, they, they accept them all. That's um, from what I read on the on the container. Um, so 
save all your containers. I think the only thing they don't accept is like makeup brushes and like some like um nail polishes and things like that. But yeah, pop them in. To find a purpose in life, that's pretty deep. How are you gonna do that? Just doing more more things so they kind of push your boundaries and things like that. Because that's I think that's pretty good. Then we've got the carnival Tahiti palette. And then we've got just the Carnival Pro palette as well. And then Fluella said, I ordered new Valentine's Day range from Lush earlier, plus some old faves. What stuff did you get from the Valentine's Day range? I'm going to go find a white eyeshadow. I am here. I'm just nipping over to the drawer because I didn't get that out. Of course, I can't find you. Oh, that's the wrong one. So I'm going to pay. Okay, I found a whitish shade. This is from the Rude Cosmetics Reckless. Reckless Roaring 20s palette. I'm just going to set this down. It's a kind of like a. Uh, I need something bigger. I need something bigger, guys. I'll use this one instead. Just all over. It's kind of like an off white. Is it even doing anything? Maybe. Oh, I know what I can do. See me. Oh my god. Don't set it with eyeshadow, set it with a setting powder. So stupid. Right. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Right. I've got this HD setting powder. Just set it with that. There we go. And I've still got the white. Awesome. Right. Whenever I do makeup, this is what I'm like when I'm doing my own makeup. It's chaotic. So, Karen's got yellow lid brought down so i'm going to bring it around and down and i'm going to kind of keep it uh as a semi as like just on the lid so i'm going to take the sugar pill palette and i'm going to take the shade but a cupcake which is a bright yellow it which is covered in some dolly pop which i'm going to just sweep that off i'm just going to get straight in there and get some of that yellow And we'll see how the KVD holds up. We've got lots of new people joining in. Hello. If you can see me, drop a little comment for the new people who are joining in. Right. Nice and bright. We'll see Karen's yellow. Well, Karen's is like a neon yellow. Well, she's getting this yellow instead. <laughs> Oh, I've hit pan, I've hit pan. Oh, so satisfying. Right. So I'm just going to focus it like that on the lid, so the semicircle. And I might then bring it down underneath and I'll, I'll try my best to keep this as much of a circle as possible. Because I think that'll keep that like 90 shape. That 90 kind of bold look. Uh, I need something smaller. I've got this little bullet one. This is again the one from Crown. If you haven't tried anything from Crown, again, give them a little go. Hi Melody! Hello! I look a bit strange. Right. So the first look I'm doing is the 90s one. I don't know whether or not I should be doing them at the same time, but hey ho. Keep going. Let's have a look. That's kind of like a circle. Keep that mold. I think 
maybe if I used a pre oh Josh probably should have used that Krylin set with the cream basic now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut around the outside to get that more round I'm having a look here it's a bit skewy isn't it Got to look a bit further away. Have a look. Oop, I'll look a bit more on it. Does nobody else have any New Year's resolutions? I think a more kind of positive one is to uh, try and read more because I am terrible for not reading. Where did I put this? Primer. Oh, there it is. So I take some more KVD primer and I use this to uh, carve out any mistakes, sharpen lines. I find it easier to do with concealer, 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 and then I can go in with concealer to try with the with the skin colour. I think that will sharpen it up. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to get a little wipe. Don't worry. I can always go back in with more. I'm going to use any of the brush. It's more of a crisp circle. That's more of a crisp circle. Now I'm going to fill in with more yellow just on the edges. And then I can just go back in with that white concealer. Oh, thank you. I am obsessed with anything colourful. It just makes it, it just, it's just fun. That's what I like. I like fun colours. They make me happy. I, mean, I like it. I like a more kind of. I do like a natural look from time to time, but there's just something about bright colours that I just so happy. I'm gonna go back in a little bit closer. Do people prefer the YouTube over the Instagram for lives as well? Because sometimes I do on, I do some on Instagram. I mean, I haven't done one for a couple of months, but like, and I never know which what people prefer. So I just thought, well, I'll do it on on YouTube. As a trial and error, and I think I feel like more people like it, but let me know. And what is it about YouTube Live? Have I got an eyelash on yet? Yes, I do. Oh my god. And set again. So we've got the yellow. Now, Karen's got some jazzy bold prints. So we've got a yellow circle down here, a purple circle, and a small pink circle. We've got a zigzag through. Hi, Lauren. Hello to all the new people who are joining in. It's nice to see people chatting. And then we've got some triangle. So shall we do the triangles first? I'm going to use this Miron palette, which is a kind of water-based, water-activated palette. And I've also got some Suva ones. And I think the Suva ones might be quite nice for the pink because actually, oh my goodness, I just remembered. I've tried to like, 
I did like a um a video will be coming up of me trying to organize my like eye eye like eyeliners and uh, eye base draw and honestly I don't know if it was good enough it it was satisfying to me but and also people might not find it that satisfying but I'm gonna upload it anyway just in case people like it so yeah aha right so I've got this one here which is a one that I got from Cyber Dog years and years ago. And then I've also got this Suva one and I've got this other pink Suva one. So I think maybe I'm going to use the Suva for the pink triangle, the pink zigzag, and the pink little circle. Now I've got this here, and this is actually a shot glass that Karen got me. It's a skull. I thought this would be quite good to have my water in because you're not supposed to saturate the actual cake with product. You're supposed to use the little lid to hold the water and then dip into it. So I'm going to get a brush. Did not think about a brush for this. Oh no, I've got one here. Perfect. So I've got this little one here. This is a bold mirror 10 brush. I think this is actually a paintbrush that I got from the range. I'm just going to take some water, put some in here, maybe. Do I put, there I pour? Pour a little tiny bit in. There we go, that's too much. Into the lid. Isn't it cool? Well, I actually got two, but I broke one by mistake um, when I was tidying and, and cleaning things up. Sorry, Karen. So, I've been watching like you like a body painter youtubers and they always say to like really work the top of the product to kind of get that nice creamy base before applying it so working it up and i think you want to have a consistency where it's thick but like not so thick and then still got kind of got a bit of play to it and what we're going to do is we're going to do I think I should do you think I should do the black eyeliner bit? So again, this is a key. I think I should do the black eyeliner bit first. Maybe. Right, we'll do the black liner bit first. Where have I put it? Oh my god, I I absolutely had all this stuff ready and now I've like misplaced it. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was absolutely a mistake. I absolutely Try to be tidy, good and tidy up, and then and then broke it. I'm gonna take in the NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner, and we're gonna draw a wing with this. I'm gonna draw a wing. How far out we should go? Not too far out. So we'll go like that. I'll fill that in. This is a fantastic dupe for the KVD tattoo liner. If you're wanting to get a brush liner on a budget, I think it's like nine pounds. But it does have a flaw, which is sometimes the ink pours out of the brush and has had a tendency to ruin some eyeshadow looks. So I store mine like this so that it doesn't have loads of ink flooding the the tip and i do like to kind of wipe on the back of my hands in case any kind of pigment or anything like that gets stuck in okay oops oh no don't be a meme there's too much eyeliner Uh, and then we've got a little wing. Put that to one side. So we've got a little triangle. Trying to put some of this on the back of my hand. A little triangle here. Oh, this is going to test my my hand coordination skills. Oh, it's so much fun doing face painting, but it is actually quite, it's, I don't know about you, Jenny, but I always find it a bit bit more trickier than what you think it would be. Like, obviously, you've got, like, the easy ones where it's just, like, 
padding on like oranges and browns like do a tiger but there's some tricky ones like a lot of kids like want the unicorns and stuff like that i like doing um frankenstein because that's easy but looks really cool at the same time now have i got too much on my brush no so we've got okay and i hope you're going to be happy with this so we've got a Triangle here. Uh, got right. Got a little triangle here. I'm going to fill it in, so maybe you can see it a bit better. I'm going to be able to see this triangle. I think as well when it's neon, it's a little bit harder to see. This is definitely this is more of a who who knows a triangle. I think this is more of an obtuse triangle. I think it is. Is that what they're called? Where one side of the triangle is a little bit uh, longer than the other one. Have this magnified. That will make it easier for me. Well, I think so, anyway. Right. Before I completely ruin it. Oh, Toblerone's my favourite type of triangle as well. If we're going to eat shapes, so a burger is round. So, tasty shapes. Circle, burger, square, no, rectangle, chocolate, triangle, chocolate, or cheese. Right, so we've got that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then, I'm just going to clean my brush because we're going to go for this purple now this purple is like a grape and i think it's a neon purple and I, this one isn't that neon so i think i might try and mix some pink and purple together in this lid and see if I can make the purple that Karen has made. I, mean, I don't like to uh... Oh well I've already got the purple the blooming pink in there. All right, we'll add a little bit of purple. Maybe it will make a grape colour. I don't know if it will like. Oh, that is. Ooh, mm. that's kind of ugly. Mm. What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe since I'm diving straight into here, I do have the colour that Karen has drawn, but it is with that's it there. That one there. But it's with this stargazer eyeliner. I might use that. Oh, God. This one, this triangle, which is definitely more of a smaller on the other one. I'm going to... I like to put loads of this onto my hand. Because it's better to work with it that way. And then, so Karen's got a triangle coming from... Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. And then the longer side is switching the yellow. Yeah. 
you know when people say trust the process i think this is going to be a trust the process kind of moment i think it, it'll it'll look amazing once we get the grids on get all she better be happy <laughs> she better be happy with this Hmm, what I'm finding is when I'm looking at this, it looks as if it's kind of breaking up a little bit. Mm. Oh no, don't do that. I don't know if it's because of the, the setting powder or because of the the KVD. I think it might be more the KVD because I don't think I actually set this area. I might come back to that to let that set and dry and then go over the top of it again to make it more opaque. How am I going to get in here? Can you guys see okay? I don't know, I'm sorry. There we go. It's a little bit wonky. Right, leave that. To dry. And then we'll come back to it. It really, really is an art. I, I wish I could contour. Um, so uh, I watch a lot of MUA, mainly drag queens, because I need class every day. I envy it uh, as I can't do any, I can't have anything really much on my face. It really is an art, and it really, really is an art. I wish I could contour as well as they could. I'd like to have no chin. Just like suck that back. Okay, next we've got. Pink zigzag. I might do the blue set zigzag. I think the best blue is going to be this. This is like the 90s style blue right here. And this is from the Miron palette. I got this from Shrine. Oh, it's pink. It's pink. I don't think I thought about. Have I got any. No. I thought I had some water. I might just spritz, be naughty, and spritz some. Setting spray on here and see if, if that'll do because that water's getting a bit not contaminated but pinked up. Okay, and that blue is blue, and that these Miron paints are amazing. Is it Miron or Miron? I say Miron. No, anyway, just makeup artist. And then she's taken the blue through the arch of the brow, across and down at the tail and across again. And it's close to the pink triangle, but like not touching it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, Right, so I'm going to go down. See, now when I put that concealer over, it's lifted. Right, so I'm going to go down. I've gone a little bit further up than Karen has, I think. Down. I'm going to go down a little bit further. I'm going to go across. And then she's gone. Oh, she's gone more up. Cack. Um, I'll have to go down. Mm, I think I 
I should have went up. Right, one second, I'm going to wipe this bit off. Ah! That is the problem. A little bit more on here. It seems as if anyway, before I even wiped off any of the white, that the brows weren't sticking down anymore once I put the concealer on. But hey ho, where's my brush? Where's my brush? Hey, if you could see what I'm looking at, it's just chaos. I've just tidied everything as well for this video and I've just made it like so messy. <laughs> be strong, be strong. I will try and be strong. Right, cover that up, cover that back up. Blend, 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 blend. No one needs to know about that mistake. Thank you for all the people who are still with me to the very bitter end. I appreciate this. I think this might just be a one eye look by the looks of it. Oh, don't feel silly. That's me. All right. And then we're going to go. Hair okay, went slightly up. And then she went, she went up, I'm going to get a bit more liquid, she went up through the brow, she went up through the brow to the other side, and then she went back down on a more I'll tell you this up. Mm, it's kind of close. And then, let's see, then she went over this way. I'll tidy that up. <laughs> Makes me think of like heart attack. Dana. No, 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 no. Anybody remember Art Attack with Neil Buchanan? Oh my god, right. Gonna have to make these bold. Wonky lines. Donkey donkey. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Because I'm thinking of the 90s. Has moved. Let's see if I can rub that off with the concealer. Because it's still wet. Yeah. I think what I might do is I might make this a little bit. Oh, it's good again. Bloody hair. Right. Quickly let me have this. Can she do it? Can she do it? Maybe. There we go. Gonna have to try and tuck that. I might even just trim that. Oh my god, wonky donkey man. Screaming at kids in the 90s. Iconic. <laughs> There's some more concealer in my life. Guys, I'm got stupid hairs on my eyebrows messing everything up
There we go. That is that squiggle done. What's heartbreak eye? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Oh my god. Get that away. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of heartbreak eye. But I've, uh, I, I, I used to watch Sister Sister loads when I was little. And then we've got pink. Okay, going back to pink. And we're going to do the squiggle underneath the eye. Hello for everyone who's still here. Who's still joining in. Thank you. If you're still here, if you're new, if you just join in, drop a little comment down below. I think, honestly, with how long it's taken, I think it's going to be 90s eye today. And then I might do honeybee eye on, I think on Wednesday. No, Tuesday. So then I might do honeybee on Thursday. Because it is taking a long time to do this. It's because I'm concentrating so hard, that's why. And then, so Karen's got a zigzag similar, like a W almost, going from like that. So I'm going to try my best because I've got, I don't have a, my cheek kind of come right out. So it's going to be a bit of tricky, tricky kind of situation to try and get this W to kind of be okay. <laughs> try and get this pink filled in. What I will say is that well done to KVD for making a very waterproof and thick concealer. Uh, however, you are making it a nightmare for my makeup to not split. So I might end up having to do, redo this one again in my own time and have this one, Karen draw on this one, and then another one where I'm using different products because I don't think this concealer is right to have as a base for eyeshadows. Um, so makeup artist I like, there's a girl called Rainbow Luke's on Instagram. She does some really, 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 a few on Instagram. You've got Rainbow Luke's, I really like her. She does some amazing uh, eyeshadow looks. You've got Shia Lee, I'm probably saying her name wrong, but she's also on Instagram and she does some amazing looks as well. Then on YouTube, I do look at, YouTube, like YouTube tutorials online, but I can't remember any of the names of the, any name of the people who do uh, tutorials. Bar Anne Luke or Anne Cook, I think it is. She does some lovely eyeshadow tutorials. But one of my favourite YouTubers is Alexandria Ryan. She's so funny. I just really, really like her. And she does a lot of unboxings. Um, and I really like her. So if you like, if you like unboxing videos, go check her out because she's really, 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 really funny. And, um, she looks after our friend's dog, sometimes called Steve, and it's really, really cute. She's like a little Pomeranian type thing, he's really lush. Now, pink W, we're going for somehow I've got white blue underneath here. How is this happening? Have I got blue in my hand? Have you got any people who you can recommend for me to, to follow and watch and subscribe to? Because I'm always on the lookout, right? So, I'm going to take. Again, pink. <laughs> and we're going to go. Oh, God. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to fill this in, get a little bit more water. Get a little bit more water. Yeah, Alex is great, isn't, isn't she? Yeah. Anybody else got any good people to recommend? I would love to, to know who you who you watch. I like watching Trixie. I like Trixie Mattel. I like her videos. They're so funny. Okay. 
Oh, oh, there's a girl who I've just started following actually on Instagram, not on YouTube, called Vicky Mon, and she works at Urban Decay, and she does some absolutely stunning looks. I really like her stuff. Uh. <laughs> Who? Who else would you because of the uh Oh god And then uh for like try to think who else There's a lovely YouTuber who might be Oh <laughs> Yeah. Oh, see, I've 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 caught up. I like got make. I like um. Oh my god, who was the one who was wearing the strawberry on their head? I love them so much, and I hope that they have a chance. Spoiler alert. On this this season of RuPaul, I'm very excited. I think zigzag under eye done. Now we're going to do a pink circle, and I think the best way to get the crispest circle, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm going to take what has this looks like the perfect size that circle. So I'm going to take the stargazer liner and i'm going to use the end this the end of this next one as like a stamper i don't care if it's cheating work smart not hard and i also like obviously simply neological as well like Christine and Ben. Now I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna do a test run on the back of my hand. Pretty much spot on. Right. <gasps> right, okay, that's perfect. Oh, oh Scott Barnes. Yeah, his makeup's amazing. Very expensive though if you want to buy stuff. Oh, who else? Jen loves. I've started watching her. She does like what's up the makeup and I like beauty news. I like seeing all the new stuff coming out and they're so funny. Right. So we've got a circle just near the wing. Oh, here we go. But then I feel like that's off balance. Maybe. Okay, we've done a circle. <laughs> yes. Perfect circle. Who cares if it's cheating? I'm going to do it. Who is... Oh, Utica. Yes, we're done with the strawberry. Yes, 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 yes. So cute. So, so cute. Little strawberry on the head. I love it. I'm going to put some more purple on the back of my hand. I really recommend these Stargazer and the onliners. They're really cheap and they're actually really good. Got good pigment. I would say if you want to really pop it into like dark eyeshadow, put like a white liner down first and then put that on top. But they're yeah, really, really good. Everyone must pull that face when they're doing mascara and eyeliner. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, all I'm doing is I'm just 
fill it in this circle like really really carefully i'm for some reason getting loads of blue all over my face which is not helpful at all If you haven't already done so, if you do have social media, share this live on your social media so other people can see what weird things I'm doing. I think this circle stamp technique is the way forward for sure. So close. Has anybody got any good series to recommend for me to watch on Netflix? Because I finished Sabrina, I finished Cobra Kai, I've just finished Shit's Creek. Um so looking for new things to watch. And obviously, got to wait weekly now for RuPaul. <laughs> and I think that is the circle complete. Ah, ah, ah. Let's just touch up this triangle. Make sure it's okay. I do think there's a little bit off balance. I mean, I know I've got to do the pink half circle next and a yellow one. Ah, oh, I forgot about the yellow one. Oh, that can be the yellow one a little bit over here. Maybe that's why she's got a bit closer up. I forgot about the yellow one. Oh, no. Oh, well. I'm going to get my hand a wipe. trying to think what she, what what she looks like now i've just seen like i've just watched so much rupaul that i can literally not remember hardly anyone pink semicircle so to make this easier i do have a i think i do i'm going to take this one here Yes, I have a neon pink liner and I'm going to do a half semicircle with the NYX lid again. Or do I need something smaller? Maybe something smaller. What is smaller than the NYX lid? I'll put the same size. I'll put the same size. It's actually bigger. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I might use half of this. I'm gonna try half of this eye shadow brush. See if that works. I feel like I'm painting Mr. Blobby. This is starting Mr. Blobby paint. Let's try on the back of my hand. Mm, don't want that. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it with the NYX. Do you know what it is? I've only seen one All Stars, which is the one that Netflix put on. I've not, I don't know where else to watch the rest of the All Stars because I wanna. I know that this, that the one that's on Netflix isn't. The best one. I want to see the one with Trixie's, yeah? Trixie's All Star season. I want to watch that one. But I haven't yet. Right, I've got, I'm just going to test half here. Yeah, that'll do. 
That will do. Can I see what else I've been watching? Watch a lot of H3H3. H3. I like their podcast. Right, hang on. Right, oh my god. Right. We'll find out. the same size. Makeup break, makeup break, makeup break, makeup break. Right, hang on. Nina, Nina Brown. Oh my god, oh, the strawberry! Or is it a peach? Horrifying, I remember the peach, yeah. Iconic, but horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, her makeup's gonna go amazing. Okay, fill in this pink. Not long to go, just the trickiest part. So it is, I bet you the trickiest part is me putting on some false eyelashes. Does anybody else hate putting on false eyelashes? Right pink there. Sorry Karen, it should be smaller, but hey ho. Then we've got a yellow dot about mm, I was about here. And that's got sprinkles in it by the looks of it. The sprinkles are a thing. Do you have to pay for that app? Well, tiny. Did I pay for enough? <laughs> we should bring all of all stars on Netflix. I need that. Oh my god, you should honestly see this. I honestly thought that, like, I'd be able to do two looks. In around about an hour's time maybe if i've done like one eye at a time but i'm just such a concentration freak that there's just no way that i can do both so sorry i will do the other one this week though i promise i promise I've seen all the, the good place. I'm all caught up in the good place, and I like the good place as well. It's really good. Oh, that was cringe, wasn't it? Hang on. I need to sort out this concealer that I've got, like, blue patches on my face with. I can see me spilling this water everywhere. I don't want pink water on the carpet. Blend, 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 blend. And then we will yellow stamp. Is it cheating doing the same size stamp every time? Maybe. Okay, and then we will paint in with yellow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Can't even see the yellow.
I think that's too much, it's going to crack. I feel like I need something up here. Do you? Do you think it needs to go up here? I know it wasn't on Karen's design. No, I'm not going to do it because I've got to put the grid on. Oh God, I've made this circle wonky. Oh, I'm luring this one quite thick. I think it's going to crack. Well, we'll see. We will see. Oh, I didn't even know that, like, oh, my God, I bet the Thailand one's amazing. I'm excited for the new UK one that's going to come out this year. The Queen's look well good. A bit more polished, but still got that UK quirk. Right, stop it. Now we've got the hard part, which is line work. So Karen very kindly also wanted a grid. I'll do the black sprinkles at the end, but she wanted a grid to go on here as well. And I'm going to give this a wipe. This is going to be so hard because I feel like I'm going to cock this up. This is where it could go horribly wrong because there's just so many lines to be done so i think maybe the best way to start and i'm going to use these nail brushes here i think the best way to start is by doing the vertical lines and then going horizontally and we can leave enough gaps fingers crossed and then i've not used the black from this i'm using the nail brush nail art brush and we're going to see if that helps because I think it's nice and thin. Oh my god, that is so right. Okay, I think I need to thingy this paint a bit more because there is a bleed on it. Oh my god, don't bleed. Is it because it's too wet? Is it too wet? I don't know. That looks better. Right, okay. Oh, God. Pray for me as I do this look. Right, we're going to start. Oh, we're going to start through here. Oh, close my hair. I have the worst baby hairs ever. Oh, see, it's smudged. Bastard. Sorry for the swearing. Right. Okay, back to it, back to it, back to it. And we go to the game. Hmm. 
my walls are open. It's like I'm not even breathing. It's like I'm not even breathing when I'm doing this. I'll touch up when I've done everything else. Right, okay. So many little fluffy bits. I need to like do something with these because these are gonna. I don't know about anybody else, but baby hairs are the pain of my life. <laughs> Absolutely, I will try and not. Right, see, I know for a fine fact that now that I clip this back, my fringe is going to be like this and weird when I'm when it's done. I'd like to keep it on, please. Right, here we go. Next line. I'll try and keep it similar distance. Oh my god, how have I got big hair all the way there? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I need to cut that out the way there. This is where everyone can collectively hold a breath. I need a different brush and you're slightly, slightly, like not as long, but still thin the brush. Do I have one of these? Yes. I think. Yeah, let's do. This is a super brush, but I don't know if it's going to give me, I don't know if it'll be too thick. I'm going to put some more water in here. Oh my God, guys. Wait. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh. This is going to be some serious touching up. And then she's got it going all the way down. Challenge. Seriously? Don't wish this on my enemy. <laughs> this is so hard. Karen, what have you done to me? I've already messed this up because I, from the angles of my face, it's now on a curve. So there's like a bigger gap between. Bugger! Oh God. I do think these long nail art brushes are great though. She says that she completely messes up. Oh, I'm still going to be here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere.
anybody's got any good tips on how to draw lines evenly on the face. This is definitely what to come back to. That one's a better line. Dry my eyes. Oh, oh, oh. And then we're going to have to touch everything up. I might touch that up with the NYX liner. Might be a bit easier. Thank you for all those who are still with me. Let's pray for straight lines. More water in here. Is anybody else's anxiety going through the bloody roof? Yeah, because mine is. I think as well, maybe I've got like too many similar lengths. Maybe, I don't know. I'm getting the hang of this brush. You think? Maybe. Right, let's try and tidy up ish. Actually, no, I can't even tidy it because I've even done the underneath bit. Oh my god. Need like product on the tip of the brush, just the tip of the brush. How's it looking so far, this grid? This is solid. Because you kind of got to go against, you kind of got to flex with the curve of the face to try and make the line straight. Oh my god. 
It's coming along, people. It's coming along. It's the eyebrows because the eyebrows haven't stayed down. I'm just trying to like work out how to how to get in there. I think that the, the key is going to be the epic ink liner. So I'm going to try and do that. I just want to say thank you so much for you guys being here nearly an hour and a half online with me. Not always talking, even though I feel like chatty makeup sesh, not always talking because I'm holding my breath for what can only be described as the most complicated. This isn't even the honeycomb one, the complicated one. So thank you very much, everyone. I really appreciate that. I really do. One second. Forgot to share my live, so I'm just gonna share it now. How do I share this? Share it. Well, I'm going to share this first. <sighs> Is it even going to work? Did I just copy it? I'm just going to copy a link. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Right, let's tidy up some of these lines. And now, is this the new one or the old? Oh, I've already knackered my new. Oh, you're joking. Hang on. Fix it, fix it. I fix it. Right, okay. Right, God, it's wobbly already. Great start. Try and make these. Bolder lines to make it easier. That is not a thick, bold line. That is a wobbly line. Whew. That is a, is that a, is that a good line. If that is not, is that? Mm, could be as thick as that. I feel like I'm a new copy United shirt. <laughs> two, two, black and white army. For all the new people who are joined in, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think now the next liner is not right because it's too too thick. I think I'm gonna have to go back in with the Suva liner. Oh my god. With this I'm gonna go in with the Suva liner. I've still got my watercolour. And I'm just gonna this, I knew this was going to be the hardest part. I knew this was going to be like, hello, Floella. And I knew, I knew, I knew this was going to be the worst bit of trying to, like, colour, not colour in, but even out the liner. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe close it. Hmm. Oh, hello to all the new people joining in. I'm just having a, I don't know what to do situation here. Because it is hard. It is hard, it is hard, it is hard. Thanks. It looks a bit strange, I think. 
I'm hoping that it's very wobbly. I, I, I'm not happy with how wobbly it is. Oh my god, so thick. Why are you doing it so thick? Oh, this is why. This is what I'm like when I'm at home, but like when I'm not on car. Car on camera. Uh, epic meltdown by me. Oh. All right, let's have a look. Let's try and put this in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Colour that in and we'll try and pretend that all these thick horrible lines you can't see. Instantly puts a wobbly line on. Oh Karen, I love you, but you obviously don't love me. <laughs> I'm 120% smudging half of this stuff. I can just, I know I'm doing it the wrong way around as well because I'm doing it from the bottom and not the top. Start on the other side. Hello, hello, Michelle. So, yes, let's just keep going. And we'll start from the top. Start from the top. I've got loads of baby hairs. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. See, actually, that's a good thick line. So maybe I'll just do that again. See, that might be better to just do a thick line like that. He says, making a really wonky line. Oh my god. Anyone's a body painter, for the love of God, help me with my line work. Water. Oh, thank you for everyone who's joining in. I appreciate it so much. you're gonna enjoy the <laughs> I, I, I just can't wait for it to be finished hun. I really really can't I'm, I'm 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 getting a bit over it now uh this is this is me having a, a, a strop because I don't like how it's coming out Because it's very wobbly, or wobbly, should I say? And I don't like how wobbly it is. Oh, I think it's going to have to be this wobbly though for the first attempt.
Oh, look at you multitasking, Ryan. More, I wish I could multitask. I wish I could be an octopus and be able to do this. A makeup artist octopus. <gasps> I've gone on the pink. Don't worry. I'll play it up. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Right, okay. The thicker lines are where I need to be at the moment. Oh, bye. You stay safe too. Thanks for joining in. Until I get more confidence with line work, I think it will have to be. Just don't forget, guys. We've got to go across next. We've got to go across. We've got to go across. It's so wobbly. So yes, thank you, Karen. I appreciate the look you did, but I hate you as well. <laughs> Oh my god, that is the thickest line ever. Mm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I pressed too hard on my brush. That is so thick. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, it's bled on my eye. That's nice. Thank you for doing that. It's already questionable at times anyway. And then it's done that. So thank you. Thank you so much. Oh god. How much black liner have I used? Not enough, apparently. Oh, there's some bendy lines. There are some bendy lines. Sorry for all the air, uh, the whinging. <laughs> Comment down now your all time favourite thing uh, from Lush. World Spy. Try and, I don't know, do something with this liner. Hideous liner that I have done. Oh no. I've smudged quite a bit as well.
only for what is it mine? I think I may. I think I may have given up. Right, okay, I've got the lines across. They are thick, they are even. Like, this is the prettiest thing, this nice multicolored face wipe. Everything else. I've got black. All right, I need to I need to clean this black off my fingers. Because I'm smearing black all over well, it's all over my hands. I wonder why I'm getting smudgy marks. And he's finally getting some crisp edges. Thank you, clean brush. And that wipe. Not one. Oh my god, I hate that. Oh, that's a bit off for now. I love Twilight. Twilight is the bomb. But I am biased when it comes to this though. This though is so good. Right, okay. Karen, you have bested me, you wily minx. I'm going to attempt oh god i'm going to attempt with a slightly thicker brush to do the, the across and i mean right now could it be anyways hmm. i don't know we'll find out so that's too runny i think I don't want it to bleed. I think it did on my lid. I have done this. This has gone across. Across, across, across. It's almost like noughts and crosses this. I feel like going across is actually easier. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> Those boxes are not even at all. But hey, bloody hell. One blazing bad girl left. Oh, I think I'm just cocking this up now. Get it 
through the brows. That's a that is a curved line. Amazing. Oh God. Right, what we've got, yeah. We've got a line in the lead. You have a word for that? Is this even good? Don't know. Probably not now. It's so wonky. Come on. That's it. That you can kind of. I've, I've changed the magnifying. What does everyone think so far? Mm. I know what I think. Well, I suppose it is a first attempt. It shouldn't be too. It's hard not being hard on yourself. But, uh, you know. I would like more I like from Easter. Mm. Does anybody remember Bouncy Bunny? Shower Jelly. I like that. It's a cute little bunny. I think that is everything. That is all the lines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to touch up some of the pink that I've got black on. I'm going to put some sprinkles on here. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to silently cry uh, at this effort that I have <laughs> that I've tried to uh, to do. I knew it's really hard. Maybe I should leave the honeycomb one alone for a couple of days so I don't end up having a full meltdown. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh my god. Do you know what it is? First attempt. First attempt. I'm not going to cap on myself too much. I definitely think that all the shapes, the crazy shapes, need to be bigger because they get lost in the grid. Definitely. So note for next time, in my own time, where people can't see, I'm going to redo this again, definitely. And I'm going to make everything a tad bit bigger because I think that is what is missing is like it's lost in the grid I mean I might be able to take like a well hopefully you guys will be able to see 
um, on Instagram. If you've got Instagram, I'll post a picture anyway on the community board. But I hope you'll, you'll when it's closed up, you'll be able to see more of the of the detail. Now I've got another one of those stupid eyeliner brush pencil. Take some pink and just touch up the pink that I've messed up. Definitely everything needs to be bigger, 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 bigger. Right, let's get some mascara on. Oops. Get some mascara on. I was going to put false eyelashes on, but honestly, I don't know if I can go. All right, mascara. Maybe, you know what it is? I'll put false eyelashes on because that might make it a bit better. Oh, thanks, Grace. I uh, I don't feel very talented, but I'll definitely give this a go in the future because this will not beat me. This grid. That's for sure. Lovely mascara. This is mascara, by the way, is Avon Unlimited Instant Lift Mascara. It does give you instant lift. Good. <sighs> right. Let's. Will lashes make this bit? Don't stand on your eyeshadow part, Sarah. Don't break it. There's the rest of my room. Whoa. Don't break anything. Lashes, lashes, lashes. What have we got here? Ow. I think I might go for these ones, which are the pound lashes. Dream. And then after I've put these on, we'll have a nice little chit chat now whilst I'm waiting for the glue to dry. Yeah? But yeah, once I've put the lashes on, well, the, the lash singular, I'm going to say goodbye. Bigger, bigger stamps, bigger stamps. Have I missed something? Bigger stamps. Anyway, I need glue. Where's my lash glue? Oh, there it is. Does anybody have any good recommendations for good lash glue? Because this sucks so bad. But that's all I've got. I want one with a, um, a brush. Over a um, over a squeezy tube. Now I'm gonna take this one here. This is the dream lash. Oh 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 oh! Pop a little drop on. And it's supposed to be a quick set adhesive, yet it takes ages for it to like go to that tacky stage for me to apply it. Doesn't make any sense, but there you go. Bigger stamps, what am I about? Lush at the casinos? Do you mean like, do you have a, do you have a, a lush store in the casinos? I don't get it. Am I being sick? Am I being sick? Who knows? Who knows? Karen. And to all you guys who voted this look, boo. Boo earns to you. I think, actually, maybe, 
one. I think I'm going to change the black liner as well, like the wing, the black wing, to maybe like a jazzier colour. I'm trying to think now if I've got a, a take a picture. Mm -hmm. Maybe vertical picture might be all right. Yeah, I'd, oh, I'd definitely need a, like a, a bigger stamp. I'm trying to think what I could use. I've got probably use like a bottle like this, or hmm, this actually this would probably be the perfect size. This is the Makeup Revolution concealer. This would probably be a really good size for a stamp because it'd be like big enough, and then. Maybe even like something like this as like one big one. That might be even better. Oh my god, I know what I'm not put on the sprinkles. Right, I'll just use a pen for that. Sprinkles. Does you know? Sprinkles are nineties. Sprinkles. Where are these sprinkles? Not very good sprinkles. How can I not make sprinkles good? Who knows? Is this, is this last glue nearly done? The next live I do, I'm going to do a much easier look. How does that sound? Eh? Or oh, what would you like to see? Actually, yeah. Whilst I'm here, whilst I've got quite a few of you online, what kind of videos would you like to see next from me that isn't lush, maybe related? And what would you like to see on the next live? Let me know. What do you want to see on the next live? And what other things do you want me to see, want me to do? That you like to see me do that necessarily isn't lush related. Let me know whilst I'm trying to get this glue to set up a bit more. Let's go to the mall today. Like a skincare routine. Because I can, I don't have all. Because I've like used up pretty much like loads of my lush skincare, but I can do like a get unready with me type video with that incorporates some like lush skincare. My goodness, why won't this go a little bit clear? I like to me size. Right, let's risk it for a biscuit. And put this mash on. Push the lash down. Push the lash down. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I was actually thinking about doing, well, I was actually thinking about doing on this live. Um, oh my goodness, this lash is not sticking down. But I was going to do a, like, transform myself into heartbeat, bath bomb. But I might actually just do a video on that instead. Because I like that bath bomb, it's cute. And then I was going to do, like, a blow a kiss lip, so a big red lip as well. I'm absolutely covered in glue and black liner. It's not that bad, but I'm absolutely covered in it. I'm going to put a bit more mascara on the bottom lashes. Okay, it's done. Finally. Here it is in all its glory. I'm going to post a picture up on my Instagram and I'll also post it in the community section for people who 
can't, who don't have access to social media other than YouTube. Now, what I will say is, hello to all the people who are joining in. I'm actually going to be, yeah, hello. Um, but this is it all done. I'm going to take some pictures and I'm going to put Karen's picture next to it. And then I think what I'll do is maybe next month or maybe at the end of this month, I'll have another go at recreating this in my own time, but posting a picture of it. So if you do want to see how this turns out in a couple of weeks' time or maybe the start of next month, um, then follow me on social media, follow me on Instagram at Sarah Jameson MUA. So that's Sarah with an H, then Jameson, like the boy's name, Jamie, S O N, and M U A. Um, it's literally like my uh, username on YouTube, but it's just on Instagram. And then we can see how this progresses because it's a very complicated look. I, like, I, I do apologize, I was intending to do both this look and the honeycomb look, but honestly, I think. Not only is your bum going to drop off, but my bum's going to drop off from being online for so long. So I will post a honeycomb uh, picture in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm going to attempt that for a little while yet after this fiasco. Um, what's in my purse? Oh my God, absolutely I will do that. Because I'll tell you right now, it's not as exciting as what other people will have in. But I'll definitely give that one a go as well. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for staying with me. And thank you to all the new people who are joining in. Um, I'm actually going to be signing off in the next couple of seconds. But I will see you on Instagram. I've got a video being posted tomorrow. I've got another one recorded and edited waiting to go up. And I've got a few more to record. So um, I will get that. What's in my purse? I will also have a go at the um, doing the, the heartbeat one as well. Damn right, I'm I'm starving now. I want to go get some food. Take some pictures, cry a little bit at how wobbly my lines are, and eat some food because I'm starving. I'm starving. But thank you so much for joining in. And I promise the next live, I think I'll probably do another live maybe on Thursday or Friday. Or would you prefer a weekend day? Would you prefer me to do one on the weekend? Because I know some people struggled. The only reason why I do it during the day is because the lighting, I've got five, no, I've got four lights on me and I use natural light as well. And it can be, um, when, when literally pretty much when I, when I go, when, <clears throat> put my tooth back in. The reason why I do it during the day is because the lighting's better, long story short. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already followed me, go follow me on Instagram. It's Sarah Jameson MUA. And I'll be posting this look very, very soon. But for now, go and comment on the one with a little drawn alien. And I will see you later. Okie dokie. Bye.